Shall we begin? Shall we begin? Let me tell y'all something, man. Alpo got these streets all messed up. Because after Alpo, it's like... These rats... <laughs> It ain't the same no more. It's like they got a badge of honor. Being a rat in today's time is like we're, it's like rocking a gold chain. It's like driving a Mercedes Benz. For those of y'all that don't know, who Terrence Gangster William is, this was the muscle, the machine, the man. This is the illest nigga. This was the illest killer out of that New Orleans camp, riding with Baby. This is also the, I don't like saying half-brother, but the half-brother of Baby, St. Daddy's. So, for, for those of y'all that don't know the story, Terrence Gangster Williams went to jail and when he got all his time he decided to do a lot of talking now his excuse for telling ratting snitching was that he told on the dad I just told on the dad dead man can't tell no tell in my previous video, I broke down why you don't tell on the dead. Especially for homicides. Because the family of the deceased is still looking for revenge. Right. But with no further delay, I am going to allow you to hear from the man himself that's in the federal penitentiary. One of the cats that Mr. Terrence... Gangster Williams told on people your name and what happened, bro. All right, say less. We want to start right now. Yeah, start right now. Tell them where you at. Tell them, tell them what jail you in. Tell them everything. Hey, world. This is Timothy Pinkney, man. I go by the name Timmy G. I'm in the federal penitentiary. I'm in Paul Rock, USP, man. Hey, man, I just want to let y'all know, man, that dude, Gangster Terrence Williams. With his mother named Paulette Williams. That nigga's a certified rat, man. That nigga got me all this time in the penitentiary, man. Do a war lie on me. In NBC Brooklyn back in 2012, November 20th, man. You feel me? This is, this is facts. Got me indicted. Right now, I'm doing 23 years federal time plus state time, too. Now, you have to be aware of the shit that goes on in this world, man. Everybody is not a gangster, man. Everybody's a train to be a gangster, but they really not. This dude is working with the government. He's been working with the government for years. You feel me? That's how he got home. He got some shit called a Rule 35. Similar to a 5K1. But a Rule 35 that he got is basically like when a person starts cooperating after they already sentenced. You feel me? Like this dude is a fraud, man. He's faking. You feel me? Once you start writing, all that shit you did in the past, that shit don't count no more. Like this nigga got me, he got me a whole lot of time, man. Like, dude, fuck nigga, man. What about your co defendant? What about your co defendant, bro? Yeah, my co defendant, man, he, he ended up getting a life sentence. Buying that shit, but it was, it was pertaining to that and other shit, too, though. You feel me? Like, man, shout out to him, too, though, man. Shout out to Ash, 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 man. Of course, you know that, that nigga was scared, you know, that nigga was scared, man, that nigga, nigga was running down on that nigga, man, when he was, when he was on the seventh floor, nigga was running down, and Damu was running down on that nigga, man, that nigga told the Damu nigga, this call is from a federal prison, that nigga told the Damu niggas, man, if y'all do anything to me, I'm gonna get my ace in each one of y'all names, man, it's a fact. But this nigga's a gangster. You are? Yeah, but what? But who was who who was in the who who was on that side? Who was on the seventh floor at that time? Like that could that can um that could just confirm all this beside beside you. Like you know some homies that could 
You know, because he's saying he was never in the building, period. Man, that nigga was in the building, man. 10 minutes, the pickle was going wild, man. The pickle was going wild. He was in the building, man. There was a few got more niggas down there, man. That nigga, man, man, this shit real, man. This is my life, man. Still got me all this time, man. 2012, November 20th, man. Do all lie on me, man. Terrence Williams. Go by the name Gangster, man. You heard? Baby brother. Same father, different mother. Yeah, this dude, man. This shit ain't no, this ain't no play play shit. This is facts. Pay word, don't lie. Shit in black and white. So, bro, when can, when, 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 when can you get the audio to me, man? The audio record. Need I play anymore? I have the paperwork. I don't produce paperwork. That's false paperwork. The paperwork is there, but the reality of it is, even Baby stepped away from his brother because he could picture what he said. Now, my advice to you, Baby, I listened to the video, the, the, the audio that your brother just made with my name in the title and your name in the title, and he's indirectly telling you that the feds they will lock you up for old and new. So if your brother knows anything about anything in your crew, which he does. And you ain't treating him right, baby. Baby. You see what they did to R. Kelly? You see what they doing to Thugger Thugger? Don't let your brother put you in that same jail cell, a.k.a. coffin, where you buried alive. Because he's sending you a message. And I heard him loud and clear. It is what it is. I'm not going to put the paperwork on this video. I'll put it up on my Instagram. So it don't affect my YouTube page. I really don't like playing with this dude. The only reason why I'm addressing him. Because he addressed me publicly. So you know it's public information now. That I can address him and put this out there. It's public information. It is what it is. But I learned in today's time. That you know Alpo set the trend. So it's safe to say the rats can come outside and be all over the internet and the paperwork don't even matter. And the, and the sad part about it is, it's like all you street dudes is actually following this dude. Knowing that he went to a jail cell, befriended another dude who looked up to him because this is gangster. Terrence Gangster Williams of New Orleans. The illest nigga in Nebraska. Turned Muslim, befriended him as his Muslim brother, gave him a shoulder to cry on. This is why you don't discuss your street business and your case with dudes. I don't care how tough they pretend to be and what they claim to do. In the feds, there's no statute of limitation on any crime. They could charge you with old and new. This is why you don't tell your business when you get locked up. I'm innocent, y'all know. It is what it is, man. Pay attention to your circle before they hurt you. And in this case, shut up. What did Lord Akim say? The more that I know, the more I say less. The more that I grow, the more that they test. And I know, hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button. This is the backup page. This is Raw and Uncut with Hassan. Make sure you are subscribed to this page. And we out.